up y'all welcome back to the channel for today's video we have receipt well 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 we've been received this but um it's finally time to utilize it. Today, we will be unboxing my brand new radiator setup. I've never actually had a proper radiator. I always ran that thing in the corner, which is the eBay special. But here we have CSF radiator with a spall fan. So it's about to get real crack and lacking up in here, playboy. So for the first unboxing of the one out of two items, we're gonna do our fan. Look at that boy, look at that. Spall, B, spall. So here we have my brand new CSF radiator fan shroud. Boy, look at that branding. Ice, 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 yeah. And then right here we have our spall fan, boy. Now the spall fan is, I have to say from reading online and saying, yo, if you're having cooling issues, get a spall fan. I believe this has to be the best fan of just radiator cooling purposes. Oh, look at that boy, you get a three year warranty. <laughs> so, Crustina now with the K is getting that much needed, much needed cooling boy. I am making my K24 much cooler. Hence the title of this video. <laughs> and then right here we have all the hardware to attach the shroud onto the fan along with the radiator. And now for the radiator, let's unbox it. Ken, if you're watching this, I love you like a freaking love mushy boy. This is heat. Well, bam! Look at this bad boy right here. I thought it was gonna be a half wrap, but nah, boy. This is freaking awesome. And they got like the A and fitting things where like um, the hardware, like if I want to run A and fittings for both, I can. If not, I could just run the regular um, coolant hose, which I am gonna run. I'm not running A and fittings, but it's awesome to know I have the choice to run A and fittings. But yo, look at look, look at that ice. Go ahead and say it, Quavo. Go ahead and say it. Ice, ice, ice. Yeah. Yeah. One more time. One more time. Ice, ice, ice. Yeah. All right, that's it. Yo, this is just beautiful, bro. And I got that cool thing, so when I have it right there, you see that. Whew, this is amazing. CSF for the win, bro. Backstory of how I got partnered up with CSF is just amazing. And I will be explaining to you guys probably at the end of this video. Because I hope to have this mocked up and installed today. So, hopefully that works. I don't know. I'm not, you know, I don't want to get my hopes up and your hopes up. But just know we have some cooling stuff, bro. Time to cool this bad boy. I got to mount the fan on, which I'm going to do. But it's going to just do everything now. Um, I might not film it because I don't want to look like a idiot trying to put on a fan and shroud because i never done it before and i have no idea what i'm doing but just know your boy out here having the coolest of the cool for christina retracting what i said about not filming everything i'm gonna film me putting on the fan and shroud and fan shroud and then i'm gonna try my best to mock up the radiator inside of the obviously engine bay to see exactly what i need to do crossing fingers is not too much modification i have to do to make this work well my mailman just dropped this off it's from hybrid because well the tape <laughs> but uh, i don't know what this is so let's just do like a little unboxing and see what it oh it's my okay i know what it is it's my banner my... oh wait Oh, it's my dipstick. Wait, who is this from? That is my Slimlock dipstick. Along, along with another hybrid racing sticker. So, that's awesome. I didn't even... Oh, I got a dipstick. So, well, I knew I, I knew I was receiving a dipstick from Lazy Man Garage here on YouTube, but... Wow, I did not know this. Okay, awesome. Sweet.
right, so I have the shroud on along with the fan, and I think I did it right for the most part. I think everything's correct, but I do have four bolts left, and I do have these, which I have no idea where these even go to. So if you do know, um, I don't know if they came with instructions or anything. Oh yeah, I also received the shop banner, but I can't hang it up in my garage because there's no space. But I will be hanging this up very shortly, like less than two weeks. Well, there's no instructions, so I guess I'm just gonna try and just mount it up and see you. What all adjustments do I need? What I gotta buy and order and all that fun jazz. I already know, like, since I don't have one of those anchor points on this side, I'm probably gonna be screwed. But I do know they sell like a radiator kit thing where you like you drill into like the, I think these right here or whatever, like the regular ones, and then like there's a bracket. I don't know. But um, let's just try and see what happens. Essentially, this is how it would look. Um, I might just end up getting rid of my crash beam. I don't really need it since that one's all crashed. If I do crash this car again, I am more than likely going jab front. I know I said I would never go jab front unless I import an actual jab front Integra. But um, I don't know, man. I think my car, my color combo with a nice black housing headlight of a jab front, spoon lip, oh, I think that'll look beautiful. But check me out, son. Check me, check me out. Uh, I got one of the hoses in there. Now, this is going to be a huge problem with this right here. I probably have to order the swivel um, the radiator housing thing. Well, not radiator housing. Thermostat housing thing that swivels, like the swivel head. I have no idea if the hose I'm receiving from hybrid is going to work. But I know this one should work because once I put on the thermostat housing right here again, which this needs to tuck underneath for the most part it should look something like this i mean the only way this is staying still is because i have it tucked up right here and i've got a feeling i just kind of ruined the then there we go so i have to figure out what i'm going to do for that end of things i feel like there's two holes i mean oh you can't even see it i can't even see it oh wow it's not even on the thing at all um yeah one second thank god for zip ties right but um, yeah, I guess this is how it would look. I just gotta figure out what all I'll need to make this work for this application. Um, if you have any expertise or knowledge without you know roasting me about everything, then I would greatly appreciate on like what to do. I know for the cooling hoses, I'm have to do some modifications. I probably gotta order a swivel thing. Oh, hoo, 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 look at that, son! Got a freaking shroud and a fan, bro. What is going on with, look at my freaking car, dude. Here we have it, bro. Radiator setup is somewhat done. I just obviously got to figure out what to do for the top portion and then what to do for the bottom portion. So if you have any expertise, please let me know. I'm gonna end the video here because it's about to get nighttime and I know I'm not gonna really do anything else for the day. As this video come to a close, I do want to thank you, heaven, 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 but thank you to Ken over at CSF and thank you to CSF for even coming on board with this project. Shout out to Ken for like even making this possible. Ken is one of the great people over at CSF. Me and Ken's relationship go back for a couple years now. I was gonna do a um, slim fan for my turbo setup, but my, the way my turbo setup was actually set up, it wouldn't allow it. So since I went K-Series, timing was just perfect because Ken had got moved up in the uh, in his department and then he reached out to me through that phone call here that I was filming one day and the rest is history. That's how I became part of the CSF family and I cannot be more thankful because this is awesome. That radiator just looked good even though the bumper support is ruining the damn thing. It still looks great. But that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did enjoy it, could you please? <laughs> that like button for you but that'd be greatly appreciated thank you guys for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one i'm out peace